All right, guys. Hey, welcome to the video. And here today, very quick tutorial. Something that kept bugging me for a while, uh, a, a while back. I've been actually wanting to do this video for a few months already. But every time I would go into FileZilla, I keep getting this annoying pop up window to update. Even if you turn off the option to look for updates, we'll go into settings. Let's go into updates. If we go to never, hit OK. It doesn't matter when we open it up, it's still going to bring up that pop-up window. That's because when you ran it the first time there was an update available, that information stayed there. And unless you install that update, it's not going to go away. Now, some people like older versions of FileZilla for whatever reason. Uh, maybe the newer versions don't work right for them or they just don't like them for X, Y, Z reasons. So they revert back to an older version. But of course, it's going to ask you for an update. When you click that never selection, it's still that information is still there and it's still going to pop up. So here today, we're going to get rid of that pop up and we're never going to get a pop up ever again. I'm going to show you how it's done and how you can also go back and update it very easily if you change your mind. So let's close this. Let's go ahead. What you want to do is you want to type this into the uh, little run bar or search bar, whatever it's called down here at the bottom, right? So let's copy that let's bring it here and now i'm going to show you the other way to get to this we'll paste it and then just press enter and there we go it takes us right where we need to go now if you don't want to go this route or i don't know maybe you're in a different version of windows <clears throat> you can't find the little search bar or whatever just go to your c drive let's go to users go to your user here and then go into the app data folder if the app data folder is not available just google how to get to app data folder or how to access hidden files because it's a hidden folder but bringing them up is fairly simple but that's a different tutorial so go into the app data folder then go into roaming and look for filezilla now i have regular filezilla and filezilla server what we want is the regular filezilla folder go in there and there we go now this filezilla.xml is the file we want we're going to edit it with whatever no pro uh, no notepad program you want notepad plus plus is best because it um, sets everything up here nice and clean and in order so we're going to scroll all the way down till we get right here as of right now it's about line 63 or so now what we want to do is up here where it says update check make sure that does say zero which as of right now it's in line 60 then we're going to come here to where it says update check new version okay and right here where it says nightly we're going to start right from that letter n and we're going to delete all of this stuff so this is basically all the um you know the 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 log that explains what's been done in the updates and all that stuff the update log we're going to delete all of this <clears throat> just get rid of it we're almost there so once we get to right here we can go ahead and delete all that you see we're right where the settings ends so we will go ahead and just delete it all and that's it now let's just save it let's close it and now when we open up filezilla no more annoying pop-up window if you ever want to update it again all you need to do is delete this file rename it or move it let's move it to the desktop let's start filezilla it's going to give me that window because that file isn't there and here's the pop-up again right so let's go ahead and it's going to put that file there again watch there we go so now if we delete that newly made file let's put our modded one back or our altered one back now when we open it no more annoying update pop-up window and that's pretty much it that's all you got to do thanks for watching the video guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hit the like button on the video because that of course is the best way to help out the channel i appreciate you guys watching as always take care and we'll see you on the next one